What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Welcome to Shard It or Keep It, the series where I make an argument both for and against dismantling an item, and you make the decision. This week, the exotic rocket launcher, Dragon's Breath, is on the table for the fateful decision. But first, let's take a look at the results from last week's weapon, the Badger CCL. The Badger is a low fire rate, high impact scout rifle that dropped for me out of a vendor package. Perks on mine include Zen Moment and Firefly. Good perks for PvE, but a bit lacking for PvP. Arguments for keeping this weapon included the perks. It's got Firefly. Taking out groups of tightly packed enemies is fast and easy with this perk, and since it's a scout, you can do this from quite a distance. Zen Moment helps as well by providing an added boost to stability to make follow-up shots a little bit easier. The high impact is great too. This weapon does major damage with each shot. One shot critical kills are common in lower level content, making Firefly an even more useful perk. So what are the arguments for dismantling this weapon? Well, it has no elemental damage. So in nightfalls or against shielded enemies, there are just better options available. And even though it has high impact for a scout rifle, it does less damage per shot than Fatebringer. So in high level content like Crota's End, Firefly is less likely to proc on a single shot. In PvP, the perks just aren't that great. The weapon is actually relatively good in PvP, but Firefly is a wasted perk. And since I have a Gellion's Demise rolled specifically for PvP, there's basically no reason to use the Badger. After the arguments were made, I left it to you guys to make the decision, and as usual, the comments were passionate. John Doty says, Keep it. It's like a primary sniper rifle that doesn't suck. Plus, I'm from Wisconsin, and it's a badger. True King says, Might a multi-tool and the vision of confluence are the only scouts in the game. The rest can shake. And Makram al Saad said, My ass pubes are like a tail. In the end, with 90 votes for Keep It and only 47 votes for Shard It, the Badger CCL keeps its place in the vault. The Dragon's Breath is an exotic rocket launcher released with the Dark Below DLC. It has solar damage and features the Pyromancer perk, which leaves a solar flare at the detonation site for added damage over time. It also does quite a bit of damage with its initial blast, tied with truth for the largest blast radius amongst all rocket launchers. Tripod and Javelin also add to this weapon's lethality. So why dismantle this exotic? It's easily outclassed by both of the other exotic rocket launchers, and even by some of the other legendaries. Most notably, Yalahorn. Both Dragon's Breath and Yalahorn are both solar damage rocket launchers, but Yali has some huge advantages over its younger stablemate. Yalahorn has tracking, Dragon Breath doesn't. Yalahorn has proximity detonation, Dragon's Breath doesn't. And of course, the most damning comparison for Dragon's Breath is that Yalahorn simply does more damage per shot. And that is, after all, the purpose of a rocket launcher. And because both rocket launchers do solar damage, there's simply no reason to include Dragon's Breath in a loadout. Not if Galahorn is available. The Solar Flare is a very cool perk, but its usefulness is limited. It should shine in two areas. The first, against large bosses, where the Solar Flare can hit for damage over time on these slower moving enemies. But even the slowest enemies move away from the Flare before the maximum damage potential is reached. The second benefit of the Solar Flare is Area Denial. But the Solar Flare simply doesn't last long enough to make this a very strong strategy. And finally, in PvP, it's just about useless. No tracking or grenades in horseshoes means a lot of missed rocket shots against other guardians, making many other rocket launchers a much better choice. Okay, so why keep the Dragon's Breath? Well, just look at it. It's one of the coolest looking guns in the game. The sleek lines and the graphics inspired by World War II warplanes, the exhaust manifold that glows orange after every shot, even the smoke constantly spewing from the barrel make for a truly badass looking weapon. Also, while its lack of tracking and proximity detonation are a hindrance 99% of the time, sometimes it's actually fun to aim a rocket launcher. For instance, against Secreon. 
I don't really have to worry about which way his shield is pointing. I can just jump in the air, aim down at the top of its head, and fire my rockets without worrying that the tracking will take over and the rocket will hit the shield. This of course does come at the risk of missing him altogether, but that adds to some of the fun. Not all the content I run is going to need to be me at my best. Sometimes I'm just running bounties and fighting enemies that are of no real threat, and against these guys, Dragon's Breath is a ton of fun. So that's it. I have argued both for and against dismantling Dragon's Breath. Now it's up to you. In the comments below, cast your vote. Shard it or keep it. You decide, and in the next episode, I will act upon your recommendation. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.